on November 17th, I turned 43. Time passes, right? But I'm not here to count years. I'm here to share what I've learned since turning 40. And trust me, the lessons don't come from the number. They come from the moments, from the relationships, and from the choices we make as we grow. My relationship with time. Focus on what brings value. Turning 40 made me rethink how I spend my time. I no longer entertain negativity or things that drain my energy. Life is too short to focus on what doesn't bring value. These days, I focus on what feels right, what aligns with my purpose, and what makes me fulfilled. I like to think of it as a value filter. If it doesn't pass through, it's not worth my time. Time is precious, and we only get so much of it. So I ask myself daily, am I investing in the things that truly matter? Exploring mortality through a new lens, cherishing the present. The people around me, my family, friends, those who have been part of my life for so long are getting older. That is a fact. And the reality is, they won't always be here. So for me, instead of worrying about what will happen when they are gone, I've shifted my focus to appreciating every moment with them now. I ask myself questions like, what am I doing with them today? How am I showing up in their lives? The best gift I can give them, and myself as well, is to be fully present and accept these people, my people, for who they are. It's funny, because in the past I used to chase material things, but now I find myself valuing human connections far more. Maybe as I like to think, I've gone from money talks to moments matter. I don't know, but after all, the richest life is filled with meaningful connections, not things. Priorities shift from material to human. This leads me to the third lesson. Priorities change. As I grow older, it's less about what I have and more about who I'm with. I used to think success was about collecting things. Now, I know it's about collecting moments, especially with the people I love. There is a kind of wealth in human connections that no bank account can hold. And I'm learning to appreciate that more and more. Life becomes so much richer when we focus on the people who matter on building these relationships rather than accumulating possessions. Because at the end of the day, it's the heartfelt conversations, the shared laughs, and the small moments of connection that make life truly meaningful. Here I am, about to turn 43. And these are the lessons that resonate with me most. I've learned to spend my time wisely to cherish the people in my life and to shift my priorities from material to human. And I hope that as I move forward, I continue to deepen those connections. Because for me, that's what life is about. It's not about how many things you have. It's about how many lives you've touched. As I celebrate another year, I invite you to reflect on these lessons in your own life. What's your relationship with time? How are you showing up for the people around you? And what are you prioritizing? Things or connections? Thank you so much for sharing this moment with me. I would love to hear the lessons you've learned as well. So feel free to comment and share. And as always, see you in the next video.